Heartburn is a complicated symptom. It means a lot of different things to different people. A commonly uh, accepted explanation would be a burning sensation up in your chest, often after meals, and often a sensation of something regurgitating from your stomach up into your chest. This can be either something very simple and benign and not harmful. However, in certain circumstances, it can lead to harmful complications. One of those would be the development of Barrett's esophagus. This is a complication of chronic heartburn, or what we call chronic gastroesophageal reflux disease, where the lining of the esophagus actually changes over time to resemble more of the intestine. Uh, the significance of that is that it turns into a type of tissue that puts one at increased risk of esophageal cancer. One of the most serious complications of chronic gastroesophageal reflux disease would be the development of Barrett's esophagus. What that means is that there's a change in the lining of the esophagus from normal, what we call squamous tissue, to columnar tissue that then has another change that puts you at increased risk of esophageal cancer. That typically develops over very long periods of time of having uncontrolled reflux, but it's very difficult to predict who will have that and who won't, and typically we have to physically look in with an endoscope and take tissue samples to determine who has that condition. Uh, it's been an increasing problem in the last decade uh, with an increasing uh, rise in the incidence of esophageal cancer associated with Barrett's uh, esophagus. There's a new development in this area of treatment of Barrett's esophagus. In the past, uh, we always would do endoscopy, take tissue samples of the esophagus, and really just look for changes that are leading to esophageal cancer, and then often the patient would have to have a very uh, extensive surgery to fix that. Fortunately, in the last year or so, uh, there has been a new treatment come available called radiofrequency ablation. This is a, a simple and effective treatment that allows us to go in and actually cauterize off that layer of Barrett's epithelium that puts the person at risk for esophageal cancer, essentially removing that tissue and then reducing the risk back to a normal baseline. This procedure is done in an outpatient setting. It's very similar to the regular upper endoscopy that we do all the time that many people have experienced. But instead of simply looking with this instrument, uh, we're going to go in and uh, apply a, either an instrument on top of it that does the cautery or use a separate balloon device. It only takes about 15 to 20 minutes to perform this procedure. Now people go home within the hour. There is some restricted diet. There is the chance that you can get some discomfort after it, but most people do very well. And it takes a series of typically four of these treatments spaced out about every eight to 10 weeks to get rid entirely of the uh, Barrett segment within the esophagus.